I'm Brian Abel. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. A serial porch pirate arrested in Detroit. The 33-year-old woman was seen in a Range Rover packed with packages she stole from multiple homes. Police managed to track her down after she tried to sell some of those items online. We are waiting to learn what kind of charges the woman could be facing. Businesses across the state getting ready to reopen their doors tomorrow. Bowling alleys, movie theaters, and casinos can begin to welcome guests again, but food and drinks cannot be served. In-person learning at high schools also allowed to resume tomorrow, but restaurants and bars will remain closed under the new order until mid-January. More electric vehicle charging stations are coming to Michigan. The Department of Environment, Great Lakes and Energy says nearly a half million dollars in grants have been awarded for six new charging locations and three expansions of previous projects. Sites in Metro Detroit include Shelby Township and Northville. They'll be part of a network of direct current fast chargers the agency is partially funding as part of its Charge Up Michigan program. Now let's get a check of our forecast with Mike Taylor. Mike? Hey, thanks, Brian. We'll keep the skies cloudy for tonight, but at least we'll take a break from the rain and even the snow. Numbers go down into the 20s, 29 degrees for the overnight low in Detroit, 26 in Ann Arbor, 27 in Pontiac, and 28 in Lapeer. Coming up, we'll talk more about the rain and snow that returns and when the real cold moves in.